Hi family, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. Before we get started on this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a single video. Hey everyone, welcome to the Car Pathway of Cooking. If you're new to my channel, I want to thank you for clicking on to my channel. And if you are joining me again, thank you so much for hanging in there with me. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe, like, hit the bell, and share my video. Today, what I'm going to make is a queso dip. This queso dip, in my opinion, I think it's the easiest dip that's in existence today, okay? It's just that easy, y'all. And um, what I want to share with you all today as well, after I finish making the dip, I want to share a fun fact about my husband, Jacob, that most of you do not know, but family and friends and the people in the local area knows. But anyways, let's get started making this simple dip. And this dip is a really good dip, family, for game day um, meal while you're watching a football game. And what we have here is the ground beef. I already have it in the pan, it's heating up. Let me turn it up a little bit. You can use any type of ground meat that you like. Ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork, and I'm using ground beef. And you can use any type of cheese, but I'm doing queso. This is the one in the jar, and this is um, a 23 ounce jar. And we're gonna use some Rotel tomatoes, and this is a 10 ounce can. And I wanna season my meat. I wanna use a little onion, not much. I have some minced garlic. And the dry seasonings I'm going to use is onion powder, garlic powder, and a little black pepper. And I didn't forget the black pepper this time. And to, I'm going to use some chips. Use any type of chips that you like to dip, to use for the dipping. Okay? And I have my meat cooking here. And what you want to do is break your meat up into small pieces. It's up to you how small you want it. And you want to season it. And you want to cook your meat until it is brown. You want to make sure it's fully cooked all the way through. And I'm going to add my onions and my garlic to the meat first because I just want the onion to cook where it's softened because you don't want to eat your dip and bite down on onion, okay? If they're not fully cooked. Add a little garlic. Minced garlic. You can use fresh garlic if you like. It's your preference. Whatever you like. You're going to put your spin on this dip. And I know my pan is larger than what I needed, but I want to make sure that everything will fit in it. This is one of my favorite pans, as you all know. It's been a while since I made this dip. Okay. Let's add a little onion powder. You don't have to add onion powder if you don't want it, okay? These are my go-to seasonings. As you know, if you watch my videos, these are my go-to seasonings. Use the seasonings that you love. You don't have to use the seasonings that I use, which I always tell you that. Tailor your meals 
to your taste buds, to your license and your family license. That's a little too much black pepper though. What are you all cooking today? What are you gonna put on the dinner table today? in the comments. What are your game day foods? Is it chicken wings? Dip? Pizza? What do you or your family like to eat during, during game day? Let me turn this down. This is going fast. This is a simple meal. I want to make cooking easy, and I want you to make cooking easy. That way you can enjoy it. How's the weather where you are? Jay, can you get a shot of this for me? It's browning up some. I'm going to let it continue to brown. And then I'm going to drain it. Okay? I'm going to drain it, drain the oil off of it. And we're going to come back. And then I will add the tomatoes and the cheese. But you want to make sure that your meat, the meat you're using is fully cooked. Make sure it's fully cooked, y'all. See, it's browning. I'm going to let it cook for another two or three minutes, and I'm going to drain it, and we'll be right back. All right, my fabulous family, we are back. My meat is brown, and it's ready. What we're now going to do is add the Rotel tomatoes. I forgot to mention, if um, you like venison, have your butcher to ground, ground up your venison. You can make dip with venison too. You can make dip with sausage. Let me turn this up a little bit. Yes, any type of ground meat that you and your family love, you can make a dip with it. And if you don't eat meat, you can also make a dip. Just use the tomatoes and the cheese. And if you want to put chopped vegetables in it, do that too. Make it your way. This is easy peasy. And you really don't have to let the tomatoes cook long. That's just a dip. And the Rotel tomatoes, they are optional. So if you don't want tomatoes in your dip, don't use it. Can you also use like tomato paste if you don't like the hard tomatoes? Yeah, if you like, but I wouldn't use as much because you don't want your dip to be runny. Oh, okay. Tomato paste is a little thicker though. Okay. I'm thinking about tomato sauce. But it's up to you. If you want thick dip, thin dip, it's up to you. But I haven't made this with tomato paste or tomato sauce. But I'm not gonna count it out, because you know I like to stir them in. In fact, I think we may do that in the test kitchen one day. I got some venison in the freezer I wanna test it out on. Well, you can do that. We know you. <laughs> <laughs> with my famous crock pot. We know you, Jacob, love venison, y'all. Should have opened this ahead of time. Bring it here. Give me a minute. Let her be open it up, cause hey. Thank you. You're welcome. Turn this down. I have it on a medium low setting, y'all.
You know, season it to taste, family. Season it to taste. Does the cheese have anything added to it? The jar? Like peppers or anything? Yeah. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, I need my small spatula, y'all. Yeah. as much as this out cheese out of this jar as I can y'all but this is money when you all watch my videos please watch it to the end I am really trying to get my click rate up my videos are not that long I am really trying to grow this channel and I need your help, family. Help me grow this channel. You all know how I am. I don't like the, my hands getting greasy and nasty. And I don't like a dirty kitchen either. It's coming together, y'all. It is coming together. So easy. Like I said, I think this is one of the easiest dips in existence. This is so easy. I'm going to let this simmer for about 15 minutes and we're gonna plate it up and I wanna show you the result. This is what it looks like. I'm just gonna let it simmer, okay? I'm trying to hold it up for you. This is what it looks like. There's gonna be some good dip right there, y'all. Oh yeah. And we will be right back. Let me plate it up and give you some fun facts about hubby. Be right back. All right, my fabulous family, we are back and this is the end result. We have some amazing queso dip done the cart pathway. I had to um, remind Jacob we're doing a video. He can't eat up all the dip because he was going at it, y'all. I had to, I had to stop him. I had to stop him, y'all. It's good. But anyway, this is a simple dip that you and your family will love. And what I need to do now is move it to the table. It's kind of heavy. Um, I need to move it over to the table so I can share some fun facts um, about my husband. Stay tuned. You all gonna love this. Be right back. All right, family, we are back. And you see this delicious dip we have here? This dip gonna go good on a game day. This is really good. Y'all got to try this dip. Let me know how it tastes. I had to keep Jacob's hand out of it, y'all, because he kept eating it. But anyway, I want to highlight um, Jacob Fun Facts. And Jacob is a local artist here in Central Georgia. He makes plaques for pro football, basketball, baseball, college teams, even local high school teams here. That's upon request. And these plaques are really nice, y'all. They are really beautiful plaques. And um, yeah, they will go good. If you have a she shed for all the females out there, um, man cave for your men that have your man caves. And um, Jacob made these from scratch. He go and buy the wood, come home, cut them out, in the, um, different forms, you know, of the teams, and he paint them as well. And he, this is one of his hobbies, and he's really good at it. And I must say, I help sometimes, too. not all the time, because I'm really busy too. I do other things other than this channel, but I'm very busy. But when I do have a minute, I help him out. I give him about forty percent. <laughs> Two percent, y'all. Forty percent, y'all. <laughs> nah, she do help me out a lot, though. 
Give me some credit. <laughs> Give me some credit, even though you have to show me what to do. Okay. You know, but anyways, um, if you're interested in purchasing one, my email address is the card pathway of clicking at gmail.com and I will have it listed in the um, description box. Anything you'd like to add, Jacob? Other than the dip, it's good. It is real good. Like I said, you can get the mild or the hot one, but this is the mild one. It's real good. And like I said, this is one of my hobbies. I started out with it was just for me, and then had neighbors and everybody wanted something made, so it expanded a little farther out. But um, it's something I enjoy doing. Yeah. He also made cornhole games, y'all. Um, and he would put your team on them, but I don't know how that would work as far as shipping. He makes the. Um, it's expensive. You it's make those yeah. tall, narrow welcome signs. My neighborhood has Jacob's name on it, okay? Because my neighbors, he made them for my neighbors and the, the colors that they like. My parents, my family and friends have them. But like I said, he's a local artist here and we're proud that um, he's doing a great job at um, making plaques. And, um, but I wanted to highlight something that he enjoyed. We wanted to share it with you. And thank you again for joining my channel. Clicking, if you just visiting the channel. I want y'all to watch the whole channel, okay? Watch the whole video. And I have more videos um, out there. Check me out. And I'm trying to get my click rate up. I'm trying to grow this channel. It's a small channel right now, but it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow, but I need your help in um, getting me to um, the status where I need it to go. But anyway, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for supporting me. And um, I'll be coming up with more videos pretty soon. So y'all stay tuned. And we will talk with you all later.